I was reading the depth of invasion, sir. Actually, there are two definitions which are given, sir. Sir, one which is given as per the recent Delhi and as per the uh, guidelines also, sir. So that it is uh, the distance from the basement membrane to the lowest membrane of tumor limit, sir. But, sir, in some studies, sir, uh, like MSKCC and some studies, they had suggested that it is from the reconstructed mucosal surface to the tumor lower. So, so I was wondering, sir, what was actual, what it was. Please repeat the question. Depth of invasion, sir, I was wondering, sir, what is the actual definition? Because in New Belly and as per the guidelines, it is mentioned that it starts from the basement membrane to the lowest limit, uh, lowest limit of the tumor, uh, of the tumor, sir. But, sir, some studies, individual studies have suggested that DUIB measured from the uh, mucosal surface to the lower level, lower limit of the tumor, sir. I was wondering what is the correct answer. So, what is the difference between the two? So, one is from the mucosa to the tumor limit and one is from basement membrane. So, they are uh, asking from the reconstructed mucosal surface, like from the epithelial line. It can't be because reconstructed surface would vary. It has to be from the mucous membrane down. Normal adjacency, it is the adjacent normal mucosa which is there from that base. See, the adjacency has so defined it. From tumor thickness and depth of invasion. Tumor, tumor is the whole of the thickness from the top of the tumor, tumor till the end. The basement membrane till the end is reaching. It becomes tumor thickness. But the so depth of invasion, which is of oncological see, significance. See, the oncological significance is DOI, which you use for staging. Yes, sir. Well, less than 5 mm, 5 to 10 mm. Less than 5, 5 to 10 and not that time. So, if you are using... So, all this is primarily based on distance from where? Basement membrane? From basement membrane down? Yes, sir. This is what the AJCC tradition is saying. Yes, sir. That is one. Secondly, the question relating to the oncological significance of DOI is what we should be concerned about. No, the oncological significance is related to depth in terms of penetration so involving the lymphatics. Is it is there on in NCC and gives me mill there. Yes. Right? Yes. 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 So this one is DOI, the blue one, and this is the tumor thickness from adjacent normal mucosa. What is reconstructed basement membrane? It is the theoretical line drawn from the basement membrane of adjacent normal mucosa which is here the deepest point of the tumor is here and this distance is depth of invasion this is in case of an exophytic growth if it was an ulcerative lesion, then the reconstructed basement membrane is this. From here till the deepest point of the tumor, which is this, the line drawn indicates the de depth of invasion. This is different from the tumor thickness. In case of an exophytic growth, the depth of invasion will be less than tumor thickness. However, in case of an ulcerative lesion, the, the depth of invasion will be more than the tumor thickness. Up now, why have they changed it? In AGCC tradition, the two things that have changed are one is depth of invasion, the other is extra node extension. Now, why have they become wiser? With increasing depth of invasion, the disease becomes more invasive to increase. With increasing depth of invasion, there is more chance of lymphatic spread. And, and the risk of infection is totally related to whether the, 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 you know, the tumor has hit the lymphatics. And the single most important predictor of outcome in head and neck cancer especially was the presence of a node metastasis. That was the past thing. Node metastasis, if it is present, the survival drops by 50%. How much? 50%. How much? 50%. 50%. So if X had no node cancer, the other one 
Y has cancel with nodes, this one and this one, 50 percent difference. Then they looked at the nodes. Sometimes the disease remains confined to the node and you remove the node. The disease has gone and blocked. Again you would argue if it is a regional node or a far off node. I am telling the controversies that come. If you are removing a level 1 node in a lower gingivocal sulcus cancer, it's almost there. Versus a level 5 involvement. It is travelled. The echelon has changed. Yes, sir. But they were initially grouped as one only. So then they got wiser. Is it the node? And then they asked the pathologist as always, what do we do? The pathologist, if you, if you have read final diagnosis, pathologist is the final diagnosis, no? Right? You read the book? Little. Arthur Haley. Yes, sir. Read those books. Don't read uh, all this WhatsApp stuff. Arthur Haley's book. Hai. Yes, sir. Final diagnosis. The name of the pathologist is Pearson, who gives the final diagnosis on a bone tumor, amputation. It's a very interesting study. So, final diagnosis comes from the pathologist, whether in, to a living person or, <laughs> or in a, a, a autopsy. That's why, what is ATNM? Autopsy. Autopsy ATNM. CTNM, clinical. PTNM, pathological. RTNM, recurrent. Should know all this. Coming to the the reason why they thought of extra nodal extension was it is of relevance only when it goes out of the node. Because what are we looking at? What is going to kill? Not the node. It's distant metastasis. And the usual echelons that it traverses is from the tumor to the lymph node, lymph node to the veins and veins to the system. So now it is not just the tumor. T was earlier just the T. It could be wide or varicose, no invasion. So they thought depth of invasion is what decides the, because varicose used to have a good outcome. Yes. Why? Because there are no lymph node metastasis. Varicose means it's growing outwards. Awesome. It is also infiltrating. Where is it infiltrating? Vascular. Into the air. <laughs> it is invading, but invading the air, which doesn't bother you. So, like, you know, the flower, the petals will keep dropping off, it will keep on. So that was very close. So very close was good news, not bad. Warty. But uh, if it goes in, it goes to lymph nodes and then the, cha the channel starts. So they decided to have DOI included in the staging, less than 5 millimeter, 5 to 10, more than 10 millimeters. That is T1, T2, T3. T4 has nothing to do with the size. T4 is usually to do with the adjoining structure involvement, like in this breast cancer. Up to T3, it's size.